Chris Senanu is a venture capitalist and the founder of BlackRock Capital. The investments company has interest in technology, finance, apparel, and the hospitality sector in Africa. Brenda Kerubo hosts Chris Senanu on this week's Captains of Industry. Take a look. Chris Senanu has over 20 years' experience in the ICT and telecommunications industry. He has earned Pan-African recognition in his articulation of issues and provision of strategic insight on Africa's technology agenda. Senanu is also the founder of BlackRock Capital Limited, a private investment firm incorporated in 2008 in Kenya. BlackRock's portfolio includes companies that are in mobile applications development, web content, digital marketing, entertainment, restaurants, and fashion. What are some of the mistakes that you made when setting up the company? Oof. <laughs> wow. What can I say? Many mistakes. Um, originally, having a number of shareholders who probably... Um, who were not aligned to the vision, um, originally thinking too small, uh, originally BlackRock was meant to be a, a, an umbrella company for a couple of organizations or companies I'd invested in. So I, I, the, the original thought was probably the vision was not exactly where I wanted to go. So yes, you, you make a lot of mistakes at the beginning and then you correct it as you, as you grow, as you grow older. So, entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about entrepreneurship 101. What makes a good entrepreneur? Passion for what they're doing. Um, if what you love is technology, or what you love is agriculture, what you love is music, you go for it. Because when you have obstacles, those obstacles are not going to weigh you down. Because it's just another day in your life where you're passionate, you're doing what you're passionate about, so it doesn't come out as work, it doesn't come out as difficult. You will overcome it. So that's where the passion is. Tenacity, to be able to say, I know where I'm going, and I'm going to be keep focused on it, because I know when I get there, there's value to me, there's value to the company, there's value to the people and the clients I serve. So that tenacity is over there, mm. and the determination to get it done. Mm. African-themed restaurants and entertainment. Which one makes the most money? Oh. <laughs> I think ent entertainment makes more money, but entertainment <laughs> is also hectic, very, very hectic. Um, actually, we are almost out of entertainment totally right now. Um, I guess, as I, again, I told you, as you grow older, you get wiser. Um, I'm more comfortable with the restaurant part of the portfolio because that's calmer, it's kind of set, settled down, and there's not too much strings you're pulling left, right, and center. So it's calmer, yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about customers. Yes. Uh, what are, so far, you know, your experience in Kenya, what are some of the peculiar habits that you've seen with a Kenyan, typical Kenyan customer? Average client is very discerning. They want good quality. They want great service. They want to engage. It's just, it's just a good thing. Mm. So it, it's, it's actually beautiful. Um, so first you engage your, your clients well, twice you give them what they want. Of course, then with, with a good price tag, <laughs> <laughs> then you're fine. <laughs> then you're fine. Yeah. Is it all about the money? No, it's not. It's actually never been about the money for me. Mm -hmm. it's, about, it's always been about the impact. Um, money in itself does not make you happy. When you impact people's lives, when you see somebody who was jobless be able to get a job, create a business, grow the business, employ other people, that's impact. So that's what it's about. So I want to impact a lot of people. I want to impact a lot of businesses. I want to impact a lot of entrepreneurs. Because mm. the more entrepreneurs we have in Africa, the more we are going to move ourselves out of the conversation of poverty eradication. Mm. We need to talk about wealth creation well creation we need to talk about basically making Africa for Africans building African companies pushing African services goods and creating wealth for Africa mm. and to what advice would you have for 
a 20 year old Chris Sinan. So just slow down, Chris, yeah. slow down. Yeah. yeah, it will come. Um, and I would have been more focused on impact, I would have been more focused on talent, you know, developing talent in the entrepreneurial space. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting story there on entrepreneurship and you must have the power